So people often believe that effective leaders and negotiators are, are people that just come out and they're really hard-lined, right? They're the yelling, banging their fist type of individuals and people think this is often the best way to get the job done. Perfect example uh, that we have going on right now is a guy like a Donald Trump, right? He comes out there, he's very hard-lined, we're going to build a wall, bangs his fist, and that's the way he gets things done. Now, you can get things done that way, but long term, it's harder to do this. Now, Jocko Willink is a Navy SEAL, right? Or a former Navy SEAL. He goes out there and helps a lot of businesses take things to the next level. And he talks about how in the military, a lot of time, you get those leaders that yell and pound their fist and say, this is the way we're going to do it. But he talks about how long term... That's not a good thing in terms of getting things done and negotiating because you disempower people and you kind of develop that reputation of being a micromanager and everything else and people won't really go out there and take things to the next level on your behalf as a leader because they're scared to do so. And it's the same thing with sales. When you come in there and you have that hardline stance and you're pounding your fist and this is how we're going to do it type attitude it's a lot harder to get things done because in this case, what happens a lot of time too is when you come out hard like that, the other side is going to react the same way. They're going to dig their heels in real hard and make things a lot more difficult. So instead, what you want to do is try to be a little bit softer up front and just work with them and tell them that you have their best interest in hand and that you're just trying to look for something, a way that you might be able to possibly help them out. Now, when you come at it with a softer stance like that, people become more malleable. You can do more with them and have more effective ways to negotiate and you in turn will actually get a lot more out of the stance versus coming out there, banging the fist and being aggressive, right? So give it a shot. It's always worked well for me to do it like that. And I think in the end of the day, a lot of people lose respect for the people that yell and pound their fist and try to bully you around in sales and negotiation and leadership. So this is Kerry Sullivan with another Happy Kick-Ass and Sales.com tip today, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.